One of the things that we love to do on Live It Up is to go out in the community. And now we're going to be taking you to Raymore and Flanagan. We chose Wendy Lefkoff as our designer for this big event for Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Long Island. Well, here we are at Live It Up, and we are at Raymore and Flanagan in Farmingdale, Long Island. And with us now is Wendy Lefkoff. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm great. I'm surrounded by furniture and design. I couldn't be happier. I know. It must be like <laughs> a heaven for you, right? This is heaven, yeah. Now, you've been on the show before, but I, in particular, invited you to this event at Raymore and Flanagan because it's for big brothers, big sisters. And tell us why you love designing with Raymore and Flanagan furniture. I, I love it because I can bring my clients here to sit on the furniture. I They have mid-range, they have high-end, they even have catalogs if there's other pieces in the line that we could do that. We could do floor plans right here on the spot in their computer. The, the help here is wonderful and knowledgeable and friendly. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful family-run operation. I love it. Love it. Now, you've been featured in House Magazine, and some of the spreads have Raymore and Flanagan furniture. Yeah, I did a, um, a home in Island Park, and uh, the reason it was in-house is because I did it a second time after Sandy, and they wanted everything exactly the same, and the living room furniture, and it, it was really like a great room, so we had two love seats, and we also had a sectional, and we had a, a corner chair, and a cocktail table, and ottomans, all from here. And when I told people I got it from Raymore and Flanagan, they went, really? I said, yes, it's a great place. You should go. <laughs> now, is it the quality that, like, you know, the way things are made that you find, like, important to you? Because they, these pillows are nice. Like, this feels to me like something you could buy and it would last you for, like, a long time. Yes, and, and in, in many cases, you, you have a choice as to what filling um, you want to have and uh, what contrast fabric you want to use. Um, to drop a name, they carry Bernhardt and Hooker. They, they carry some really nice companies and beautiful fabrics and always a, uh, a today design is here. Excellent. That's constantly, you know, bringing in new product. And we have some uh, questions from our audience. Yeah, so that's exciting. Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, we have Amy. Uh, Amy, I know, has a charity, Rock Can Roll. And Amy, what city are you from? What town? Jericho. Where? Jericho. Oh, okay, there you go. Jericho. Jericho. Uh, so uh, Amy's question is, do you interview to find the right designer for you and how do you get on the same page? Well, the right designer for me, um, A, has to be a people person because you, you really need to enjoy your clients. Uh, they have to really love and, and have a passion for design. So th that would be number one and number two. Uh, I'd be um, interested in their educational background and I'm a person that likes color. So I would not want a person that can only see things in black and white and shades thereof. So if a client came to you and they weren't, it wasn't a good match for you, you'd also say, I don't think I'm the right designer for you, but I maybe know someone that would be. Absolutely. How, however, there, there are ways of, do, I feel, there are ways of doing black, white, and beige that could be so much more exciting in terms of bringing in more powerful textures, uh, not just a chenille, but maybe, you know, like things that uh, have long yarns to them and some metallics things that, that give it a little bit of pop and excitement. Okay, a little bit oomph. Oomph, oomph, oomph. Okay. Uh, this is a great question. This is from Joanne Hutchins. Joanne, where are you from? Bayville. Bayville. Okay, nice shout out to Bayville. Uh, her question is, how do you organize a cluttered office? Well, my own office was uh, the perfect scenario, and I actually used my closet designer, and she's taught me a, a great deal throughout the years, Bonnie of Symmetry Closets. Uh, we have open cubbies, and with the open cubbies, so that I don't have to open a door and figure out what's behind the door, having the up open cubbies and then having colored boxes and labels on my boxes, it's beautiful looking and I can go to things very, very fast and then just dump it in the box. So, you know, it, everything great. stays organized. Great, excellent. All right, so that makes sense because uh, we all want to, you know, declutter our life, right? Right. Okay, so now here's our third question. Uh, this is from Jody Matarash. Uh, Jody already wrote on her card that she's from Smithtown. Nice shout out to you, Jody. How are you? Okay, and Joni's question is, uh, can you suggest a contemporary window covering for a large double window facing the front of the house to replace vertical blinds from the 80s? Absolutely. There's two ways of going. 
Uh, one way is um, an arched cornice, which um, a lot of people have seen straight cornices. You could do a cornice that has an ar a, a very graduated arch in the middle and then have um, curtain panels on either side. The cornice can be outlined with either nail heads or a contrast cording. Um, and another way of going is something that Hunter Douglas has put out. It's called a luminette. It looks like sheer curtains, but there's actually a vertical vein within that sheer curtain and um, allowing privacy or not while you just have shears in front of you. And it's a, a contemporary look. Sounds great. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for listening to our first three questions. We're going to be moving to another location, Raymore and Flanagan. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. Now, uh, Wendy, where are we now? We're in the dining room. Tell us about why you chose to be here. Why I chose this dining room set is because recently I did this, this particular furniture has a bedroom set. And I was in love with that bedroom set. And I walked in, and I hadn't seen the dining room part of their line. And just flipped out. I said, please, 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 let's go over here. Now, is that what people are doing lately? Are people kind of like coordinating room to room, especially if they have an open floor plan, right? You kind of need to that, make it match. That's today. Today is take down the walls, and um, people don't want to be stuck in the kitchen or stuck in the den and not able to socialize. So everything is visible, and you need to create a flow. But you may have inherited a few pieces from mom or grandma, and you want that in your floor plan. Or, or your taste goes in a few different directions. And there's ways to marry those feelings in, in furniture. I like that. So in with the keep the old and in with the new, and you you make it uh, and blend. I make it work. Excellent. Yeah. And one of the tip you told me too is the bringing the outdoors in. Now I know that you said that that's sometimes important. How to coordinate? Like if you have like an outdoor seating area, an outdoor patio, you want it to match, right? Yes. And I mean Raymore and Flanagan has something uh, this summer that's fabulous because fire pits have become a big deal, and really New Yorkers are are enjoying their outdoors. No matter how small the yard is, everybody has a fire pit. And, and now they're doing these fire pit tables and pub tables, and they, they have this beautiful ensemble here. So if you have a family room that overlooks the backyard, it is nice to coordinate your backyard with your family room. Visual wholeness. Yes. Ooh, very you. good. Is that good? Yeah, you're I my apprentice that. now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, visual wholeness. I'll live it up. Uh, and we have questions from our audience. So um, our first question is from Linda Imhoff. And uh, Linda, what town are you from? Lindenhurst. Linda's from Lindenhurst, and her question, Wendy, is, is it okay to mix different styles, modern and traditional, for example, in a room? Which you basically just answered, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You, and you could have something super, you could have the whole room be modern and bring in an, an antique. And if it was just a, a white fabric on an antique, you would see the beautiful lines of the antique, and yet it would be contemporary from the white fabric. Excellent. Okay, and our next question is from Carrie Shaw. Uh, Carrie, where are you from? Comac. Comac, okay, from Comac, New York. And her question is, what is the best way to figure out what theme to use in each room? Well, I, I, I usually get to know my clients and I get to know them very well. So we, we see what your actual personal themes are. You know, if, if you're interested in sports or if you're interested in the ballet or uh, interested in the Yankees, you know, wh whatever it is. I, I have a client that she goes to the ballet and she goes to the opera and she goes to the museum, but she's an avid Yankee fan. And you would never know it, this little lady. And we did a room for her that is all Yankee memorabilia. Uh, Long Island Picture Frame did all these frames, cream frames like this finish here. And he had never done anything like that before. You know, typically uh, memorabilia would be in black frames or wood frames. This was femininity. And so there's ways of, you know, finding a theme and yet having a beautiful room wrapped around it. Excellent. Okay, now the next question is from Paula. Uh, Paula, where are you from, Paula? Westbury. Westbury. Okay, Paula is from Westbury, Paula Geitlieb. And she's also, Paula Geitlieb Herman, is also known as Chef Paula from Cooking with Stars. Okay, so the question is, what are the latest trends in furniture designs? We have a lot of tufting going on, 
Um, there and tufting it, is like the... Tufting is putting a, a button, like dimpling the fabric in. Right, uh, and it puckers together. Yeah. Okay. And so you'll, you'll see possibly the backs of furniture tufted and, and not the seats. Uh, there's nail heads are being added to everything. So you can take something super modern and add nail heads, and then you can also take an antique and add nail heads. Nail heads is just, you know, crushing the design world. And we're going into a very bleached wood uh, trends now. Uh, any, anyone familiar with um, repurposing furniture that people are bleaching and graying out the finish and uh, giving a more industrial feeling to furniture as well. What was it called back in the 70s when people would like antique their own thing? They'd paint it Pick green. What was that called? Pickling. Pickling. Okay. And distressing. And distressing. You okay. Take, you would take bicycle chains and, and ruin we, your We do it right. now and ruin the wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. And now, Wendy, we're going to be off into the bedroom. Okay. Here we go. Join us there. And we're back and we're here in the bedroom at Raymore and Flanagan. And I was surprised, and Wendy, maybe you are too. I had no idea the amount of mattresses, really nice, high quality furniture they have and mattresses here. I, I didn't know either. When I first came here, I was looking at all the bedroom furniture and they said, no, we sell the mattresses too. And then they went on to give me their very knowledgeable explanation of all of the mattresses and then went and sat on them. And right away, that became something that I wanted my clients to do. Get your bedroom set and your mattress here. Right, and they deliver, I mean, it all comes together, you said. And fast. fast right. It, it, it's just, it's amazing that it's immediate gratification, and uh, especially for newlyweds. It's like, I've, t I've told you that my daughter got her mattress here. So it's, it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful line of mattresses. And this one's like a cloud. This feels like it's an heirloom mattress, yeah, it's right? It's hand tufted, it's hand made. I mean, it's just, it's, it's really high quality thing, uh, mattress. And, and people don't realize that you can come to Raymore and Flanagan for that type of thing. We talked about it. We thought maybe after the end of the, the show that we would just like sleep here tonight, right? Oh, yeah. yeah this, <laughs> this is where we're ending. This is where we're ending. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so we do have three more questions from the audience. One right. of them is uh, from Donna Siriani. Donna, uh, where town are you from? Massapequa. Massapequa. And her question is, how do you figure out how to lay out furniture for an odd-shaped room? Okay, well, certainly um, the shape of the room has something to do with the layout, whether it's um, an angular room. There are some rooms that um, really are like three walls and one of the walls being an angle. And then there's, um, there are also wall, uh, rooms that, that have a, a big curve to it, uh, possibly because of um, a bow window, let's say. Um, so if it was a curve, I, I probably would want to enhance the architecture of the space and do some sort of curvilinear furniture, be it the seating or the tables, you know, rounds would be the theme. And if it was an angular room, I would probably do a take on, on the angles and play up the architecture of the space. I think I'm learning because that settee would be perfect, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, Very the good. curve? Oh, God, there you go. I'm getting it. I'm getting the... it through osmosis of sitting yeah. next to you. Oh. Um, love good design. Okay, and uh, Judy, uh, Judy Kanjemi, where are you from? What town? Islip. Islip. Oh, and she's with uh, LIBOR. So I'm sure her question has something to do with real estate. Um, how can you blend urban chic and suburban comfort in overall design? Okay. You know, and, the, and, the, and that's throughout Long Island, all, all over, in so many communities. And um, certainly if, if you're looking to sell and arrange the furniture properly, you, you want to try to keep um, one pattern away from another pattern. You want to um, possibly have one metal piece um, let's say a cocktail table that might be made with oil rubbed bronze and, and then dark wood furniture together and that's a way of combining. Um, and you could, if you're going to mix um, old world with uh, modern, which many times uh, you have that situation, to try to bring in just one old piece and the others uh, modern is simpler and that'll make the olds look better, hmm. less busy. Excellent, that's really good. And we have one more question. Uh, this is from Nava Slavin. Uh, Nava, where are you from? Roslyn. Roslyn, okay, and her question is, how do you keep a design timeless? 
classic lines are wonderful. Uh, the use of wood and wood grain is timeless. Um, and, and staying within, um, like right now, the trend is bleaching wood and, and having the gray effect. Um, if you really wanted a, a timeless space, um, I wouldn't necessarily be going with a trend, and I would stay with your, your standard wood tones, and I wouldn't necessarily go with something too ornate or too modern and simple and, and keep things very classic and tailored. Okay. Which is also an elegant, sophisticated look. I, I almost call it a Manhattan chic kind of a look. Excellent. And how many years have you been designing? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> over 25 years. <laughs> and what do you love most about what you do? I love the transformation. Uh, especially when, when magazines asks me, ask me for before and after pictures. I, I love that transformation and the smile on the client's face. I, I, I think I even told you a story, but I had a client that uh, they, they never used their den, and I put TV and sound system in their home, and they now dance at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and have drinks. That is what I love about what I do. It brought the romance back to their <laughs> yes, marriage. I know, yes. that was very sweet. And furniture can do that in great design. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank and you. thank you for watching our wonderful uh, remote location, uh, Raymore and Flanagan. We brought together Wendy Lefkoff. We brought together uh, Murph's uh, famous Bloody Mary mix. Oh, this we, <laughs> all for the benefit of Big Brothers Big Sisters. Thanks for watching. And if you have a design question you'd like to ask Wendy, you can reach out to her at our TV show at liveituptvshow.com. Thanks again for watching. Thank you. Thank you.